Hello guys, today we will be learn about chi square test. Basically, chi square test is used in the nominal scale, or uh, it is one of the most powerful tool used for the non-parametric test. So today we will learn about the non-parametric test. Uh, basically, chi square test. So I have a data set concerning. Uh, the nominal data gender is earning member and a reason for buy new clothes so in the case of nominal data i just put the value that uh, represent male as one and female as two or you can uh, put here as male or female don't need to uh, do numbering in such cases okay so you can do it or directly you can perform the chi square test so i have nominal data in the case of earning member in the family i have yes or no ordinal data so you can uh, perform your chi square test in nominal and ordinal both data set now go to analyze descriptive statistics and click on cross tabs now we will first see the gender connection with the other variable so we will put the gender in the row and other variables we will put in the column go to extract click on continue go to statistics click on chi square and continue go to sale and click on the observed and expected and continue and press ok button now you can see that the case of gender and age we see that male expected was 43.3 but we have count 48 and in the case of 18 to 30 years age category however this is the chi square test we will see the pearson chi square value this is the value 2.229 and this is the significance level in this case what we see the value of significance is more than 0 0.05 or significance level in the same case we have see gender and earning member the variable is significant in the case of gender and the reason for buying new clothes we also see that the value is not significant now i will show you how to explain this one keep a uh, screenshot of this word file that will help you that will help you a lot in the case of chi square test the null hypothesis is two variables are independent with each other in the case of alternative hypothesis two variables are connected with each other in the case of when the value is less than 0 0.05 then we reject the null hypothesis be careful when the value is less than 0 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative alternative hypothesis it means that there is a significant connection between two variables or there is significant association between two variables if the value of p is more than 0 0.05 then we accept the null hypothesis and rejects the alternative hypothesis it indicates that 
there is no significant connection between two variables. In cases, in the case of our analysis, what we have observed, we observed that in the case of gender and age, there is no significant p value. So, what it represent in this case null hypothesis is accepted and alternative hypothesis rejected null hypothesis when accepted then we can say that there is significant connection sorry when null hypothesis accepted then we can say that there is no significant connection between two variables it means that age has no significant connection with gender And we also observe that gender and earning member significant connection. So we can say that gender has a connection with earning member. In reality, we can see that gender has sometimes connection with the earning member of the family. In the case of reason for buying new clothes gender has no significant connection so in this way we can represent this in our thesis or dissertation so in the case of uh, dissertation or this is we can uh, write the chi square test results in this way. It is observed that gender has association with the earning member in the family because the value of P is significant, and you can put the value and the level of P. The value of X square you will observe from there. This is the value of P. Just double click on it. This is the value of P. Sorry, this is the value of chi square test and this is the value of P. Okay. So just put it here and you can explain it very effectively. Thank you guys.